Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run. Rookies only in Legendary Iron Man, that's the name of the game. No mods, nothing, just straight up trying to beat the game with rookies. Uh, it is time to uh, visit the western parts of the United States, uh, from Seattle, Washington to be more precise, for Haven Assault Operation Doom Child. And who better to answer than Sonar Insane? who are still a great team after that last uh, mission. And we put two newcomers with them, Bubble and Lyrical, are going to rock the boat with them. Uh, I added one uh, medkit instead of a second Mimic Peak in it. I hope that that was a good idea. Not 100% sure we could. Uh, we could as well get rid of blue screen rounds. You know what? Let's get that second Mimic Beacon. I just have the feeling that Mimic Beacons will be needed. We have a lot of good utility items, but frankly speaking, two little slots in our uh, in our team. We're desperately waiting for that squad size upgrade, if I can ever muster it. Alright, let's dive into the mission. And we are landing. Time to deploy. No gloves. This is bare knuckle boxing. We are landing without any form of cover. But we're landing with the offer of the game to give us high ground. And some more resistance operators. That's perfect. They were so good the last time. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. All right, nothing in there. Okay, cool. There Bubble moves up. Lyrical. Can't move too far. Yeah, Sonar moves up as well. I want that high ground and I want it bad. I want it almost now, so I'm going to... Be a bit aggressive. Only one overwatch. But next round will be much better. Is what he said before realizing that there are berserkers around. Well, maybe not. And mutants. Lyrical. Okay, well. Plenty of actions for us. Time to hit the Berserker and thankfully I installed that advanced stock in there. Because that was a surprisingly disappointing shot. can't fully kill him but you know what we could i think uh, they can't climb <laughs> so which is going to troll them jokes on you buddy specifically with a good old execution at the end i was just adding Insult to injury. Nice, very nice. All right, so We know the guy is back here, right? That's not rocket science. Moving to designated position. Uh, 
but equally I don't want to waste our grenades yet and there was an Archon Ooh. we don't want to deal with those guys not too fast Overwatch, reload Overwatch. On Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. I think we're fine. We're, we're actually in a decent position. No one has died yet. This guy is just running to the other pack, which is standing here. The resistance punishes them, as they should. And they are hitting very, very, very well. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens... So this might be a bit of a dangerous game that I'm playing here, but it is equally a funny one. Because this pack hasn't hasn't triggered yet so gave us a time to reload are you kidding me loss here okay if there are actually loss uh, this is going to be the absolute bloodbath slash royal rumble like everybody is going to fight against everybody And the lost in midst of uh, all of them. These guys typically don't engage before the first pack uh, on the first uh, side isn't cleared. Moving, out. Moving a bit closer. Again, don't want to trigger too much yet. Well, never mind. All right, decent hit. Not great, but decent. I can only repeat, luckily, we put that stock onto the weapon. And he will... Oh yeah, he will go for the civilians here. We dealt an okay amount of damage, honestly. Alright, here we go. The losses appear. Which unfortunately happens before the resistance fighters can act and now they will shoot the loss. Uh, I've never... That's the first timer for me in over 8,000 hours of XCOM that, there, that that particular mission also has loss. Typically, as you can imagine, it does not. So... I wasn't aware about the way that it would have been implemented. Wow, this guy's getting shredded. And I'm not talking about him hitting the gym. I'm talking about him getting completely mangled. Although... Thinking about it, the mutant is hitting the gym quite often. They don't even see Black Day as uh, far as their statue uh, shows. But we got plenty of dashers. I want to endanger any one of our soldiers, so this is really mainly. Very safe gameplay here, 
All right, just going to take these guys out. Even if some of uh, the civilians will die. Because this here is so far out of my hand. Whether or not this mission is going to be successful depends completely on RNG. With all of uh, the enemies that are now going to uh, to be hopping in from, from back there. Yeah, that is going to be very random. Moving over. Fifty percent to hit that sleaze bag. We want to kill him. It's potentially going to focus on something else, so not even sure. Of course, we want to save uh, lives, and we don't want to s be too close to one another here, so that we're not being hit by a grenade. Moving a tiny bit forward. Gotta be careful that the losses are not attacking the civilians because that would really suck. But there is still one loss left over. I will leave it for the alien. It's their turn next. They do have much larger explosion ready that I would have given it uh, account for. Unfortunate. And now we do have a real berserker problem. Don't go for the lost. Take it down the mutant. Okay, that's exactly the opposite of what I was saying. Well, that's fine. At least it is something useful. Nice, okay, so the Berserker is going to... Start taking hits. Oh wow, second berserker. Oh, we're we're in trouble. Okay. Moving up. This guy needs to die. Crit minimum damage twice. Interesting. Moving on target location. All right. Thankfully, we do have the stock, so I don't. I really don't care. Good, that's 100% kill. The resistance team is in the clear. And we've saved two civilians. 
at least four more resistance uh, members need to live. This here is, yet again, another problem, but nothing that is insurmountable. I was hoping for a few more hits. This guy here is the one that is hit only critical hits so far. First time that he just hit normally and not the crit on top of everything. Very good. There now. Good, moving up. Boom. Time to get rid of these guys. Kill the mutant. Potentially using a mimic beacon here. Not sure yet. We will, because elsewise we're going to be dropped by another grenade. And I don't like that. Typically you wouldn't want to stand in the open, but I pretty much know what I'm doing here. Alright, this guy evaded a slam attack the last time. Unfortunately, he was not that lucky a second time. Very good. And they are now going through all of the civilians. Unfortunately, a lost swarm will make it less likely that we're going to hit uh, them. Our resistance operatives will as always, prioritize the lost. Yeah, well done. Just move and reload. Fantastic. A plus gameplay. This guy here is the only competent uh, resistance operative, but he's very competent in his defense. The guy here is also good. Um, hasn't moved yet and has hit all of the shots um, minus the last one a toasty here. okay well that explosion could be nice, but it's unfortunately just killing the loss. Really nothing to write home about. We can move through the open. So far we're fine. I don't uh, think we need another Mimic Beacon.
All right, moving up. Let's get that mutant here. Hit the armor. Almost down. Teamwork over. Gotta deal with the loss here. The mutant is done. We're overwatching and we'll kill uh, the Berserk as he starts to move in. It didn't work out as I would have um, intended it to work out, but there is a really good chance that we're going to kill him. Yeah, and the loss will slightly damage us. That's unfortunately part of it as well. Alright, the resistance fighters are starting to get rid of uh, the loss. Not bad. I appreciate their targeting. Takes a low hit points target first. And empties an entire magazine with nothing but hits. Yeah, that wasn't all too bad. All well, things considered, it was actually quite good. Our elite resistance fighter. Ah, first miss for him. They almost got the Berserker down, can't believe it. Unfortunately, the mutants are still alive and... I have very limited methods of getting there. Kill confirmed. Ready to engage. Ammo out. Missed. Good. Time to clean up. We are now running into the problem that the loss start to have more hit points that are than our minimum damage. Good. Time to heal up. Rolling. And we're moving up. Yeah, reload, even if that means that we're going to take some damage. Uh, sane overwatches. That's a 70% chance uh, that we're killing the one loss that is remaining. This here looks like a battlefield. Yep, 
Yep, didn't work out. In return, he also missed. All right, our elite soldier. Nice, yet another hit. He's getting them down. Reload. Uh, yep, focus uh, the injured one. And there's the kill. What a bad bitch. I like it. He, he is... They, they got uh, one of uh, the big berserkers down. That was great. Desher dies. And look, we're going to go here, reload. And that's pretty much it. Like I mentioned, there isn't an awful lot that we can do. Alright, one overwatch here, reload and reload. That's just how much the whole mission has drained us. We're now slowly but surely getting to the actual action. Oh boy. Nice, another critical. Boy, oh boy. They were... If they would focus uh, the mutant... Wait a second, that's one, two, three, four... Five, six, six civilians. So every single other uh, civilian that we see is a uh, is a faceless one. Heading there now. All right. We know there is a mutant up here, right? should kill the guy we have multiple targets down. mutant was killed mutant was killed we killed even two fantastic well even better the loss may or may not be a problem i don't know like i said it's up to chance now Need to carefully advance we can't just ramble our way into it like i mentioned this is unfortunately too difficult to to just go in and mindlessly attack them well that already helped us now what are the losses going to do Many of them are moving into our direction, which I somehow assumed uh, they would do, so it's not a huge surprise. <laughs> well, it has its upsides as long as these two resistance operatives are near us they essentially will not uh, charge in and get killed so this is actually helpful just to keep them back a little bit more all right our elite soldier 
Takes a shot, that was great. Takes another one, like, he's... He is on fire. And goes for the big guy. Great. Alright, one more hit and this guy is down. Is this it? Are we seeing the unbelievable? The unthinkable two berserkers? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But so this is an auto kill thanks to the stock. Hello. On move. Moving up. Moving up. Sane is going to stay a little bit back with his four hit points. I don't want to risk anything. And the resistance operatives are doing quite well. For once, they are really holding their uh, their position up there. And they killed two berserkers, I think a few of uh, the mutants as well. And injured one of the mutants, or two even, so much so that we could kill them with um, with our explosives. So that was great. I am wondering if those two mutants had been the last... I know, they are still... They are still faceless ones. Never mind. One right here. And there is still that mutant. I was low-key hoping he would have uh, moved uh, up and was the second victim that unfortunately w was not happening but we know this is a faceless one So we're not, we're not just going to move up. That way we're not clustering up. Instead, we're carefully uh, doing that. We can't be killed with one hit. He has such a strong position over the entire force. For me, he's he's maybe even the MVP of that entire of that entire game. Think about it. Since about ten rounds, every single round he was continuing to shoot like that. Uptime is insane. To cover rather than overwatching. Another swarm, very close, very deadly. Oh boy, it's like the tenth shot, which is slightly off. <laughs> Whatever that mutant is doing, it works. Oh, 
Okay, so we know that this guy here is a faceless one, a real stinker. Yeah, complete surprise, right? Shocker! How could that ever have happened? Everybody moves up and with that we're going to go into yet another overwatch gotta be careful here well look at that loss even more of them And time for the resistance operators, it's just hilarious. Damn it, he's the killer. I want to hire this guy. I think he had uh, uh, um, accumulated more kills than potentially many of the XCOM operators. Okay, fantastic. So far, so good. Well, many of the lost simply died because of uh, the resistance operators. That's great, that's fantastic. Let's get some of the dashers down. Done. And unfortunately we're out of ammunition. Should have reloaded first, I was too greedy. Yeah, I don't want to move here. I don't know if a resistance operative could actually be a faceless one. But you never know. Okay, some more overwatch. We got one mutant down there and once the losses are gone, that mutant should be toast. Okay, time for the resistance uh, crew yet again to clean up. I will call this guy Killer. And Killer here is just making sure that nothing's coming up. He's standing there since a while, just minding his own business. <laughs> and finally oh really well apparently that was it great we were we were even successful and that is thanks to the resistance operators very good so 
I wasn't expecting to win that mission, but it certainly was a fun experiment. Plus, we got ourselves a bond. So, Lyrico and uh, Lyrico and Bubble are now a team going forward. Plus, we got ourselves plus 24 supplies, which in the long run will be helpful. Fortunately, we also got some negative traits, and soon I think the infirmary would be a good investment. But there is so much that I would need to build. Honestly, almost everything is a, seems like a good investment right now. Good, we're continuing making contact because that's the name of the game. I want to make sure that once the Avatar project progresses, that we're ready and able to counteract. Attempting to establish local... I've had a lot of time to come up with these tricks. Current scan will take an additional seven... The Chosen are doing whatever it takes to slow us down. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. Can't really train abilities. Boy, boy, we have a lot of points. Well, there's nothing we can do other than continuing to scan because we really need that continent bonus. And we got our first Psy operative. Doesn't matter what kind. Wait, it does matter. We're taking the fastest training. Fuck. All right. I'm low key even thinking about how far I can push it with four rookies and no squad side upgrade. Uh, squad size upgrade. So far, it still works, but I got my doubts whether or not this is going to be maintainable for the entirety of the run. This is a nasty one. An engineer wouldn't be bad. I like it. This here would permanently increase our recruitment costs. Oh, but it is a protect the device mission. No, 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 that's not happening. I think we're going to go for another engineer. Left behind isn't that bad. We already are screwed with uh, the missions. Might as well make it a little bit worse. That's okay. Plasma Rifles are almost done. So this is hopefully the last mission without Plasma Rifles. In terms of next buildings, as soon as that is um, done, we need more contact. So the first thing that I would build is um, a, a contract facility to have more contracts uh, contacts. Then the next building afterwards is maybe already uh, the defense matrix for four additional turrets just in case we're being shot down. Alternatively, infirmary. Uh, that would be a good alternative. It's actually really helpful uh, to have it because we need to remove some of the negative traits from a few of our more experienced rookies. Yeah, that's really it, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, your viewership and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.